<laughs> I just like to make a quick announcement. Uh, uh, Cam, Cameron and myself are, uh, are uh, officers in the Visual Arts Association. Um, she's the treasurer. I am the president. Um, we just sold one of her paintings today, um, and we're selling some, we're selling paintings to raise funds. Um, this project uh, is kind of like a carryover from the last project, in which um, I rendered a, a nightmare that I have, and uh, so I chose this quote uh, for several reasons, but I thought that there's kind of like a tie-in with the dreams. Um, this is Martin Luther King's uh, speech, uh, I Have a Dream. I'm pretty, pretty sure people are familiar with that. But in addition to that, some of the inspiration for this project was that everybody has a dream, um, even though you know that dream might turn into a nightmare. Um, so with this project, um, the professor influenced me to try to use the font um, as a, uh, a, a way of conveying art, um, not putting the font on top of art. So I um, painted this uh, uh, quote on here, and I lassoed it out. And, um, and that's the way I got to my process. Um, wanted to use the uh, font as the art. Um, what I did, I did a, a background <coughs> with the font and I extruded it. Appreciate your patience. So I wanted to, um, I, I put, I chose to put, to repeat the quote twice. Um, I have a dream. I have a dream. Everybody has a dream. The, the background is uh, the uh, quote. Um, uh, extruded with a um, pyramid shape, and then I lassoed out, obviously repeated the process, and lassoed out um, these, well I have another copy of this, I lassoed it out and then um, laid it over the uh, background. Feedback, guys? I think the second, I have a dream, it was a nice touch, it gives it like Like you don't really remember it. Yeah. Kind of like, kind of like it's blending in with everything. That is the issue. Um, I mean, I do remember some, but I do have, do forget a lot of things. I appreciate the tension all around, um, drawing you back to the center. And I also see it as kind of taking you out, like, out with your dream with action. That's a great interpretation. Thank you. I didn't quite hear that.
But I like, I like that, but like I said, you know, when he said it, um, I didn't want to put like 100 or a million I have a dreams on there, but like I said, I think that when he said it, I think it inspired people to go forward with, you know, with their objectives and what their dreams are. But I appreciate the feedback. Anyone else? Yeah, that was that was a consideration. I researched it and I found that uh, Martin Luther King's favorite color was green. And so you you know you I didn't want to I don't know I was thinking that something about green wasn't really working. I don't know what it was. It was just you know my personal preference. But I do know that you have to have yellow and blue to make green. So I chose yellow. I love it. I think it's great. It's very impactful. I love your process. I'm glad that you showed us where you kind of started with it. Well, I, appreciate, I definitely appreciate you, like, um, you know, because like I said, I don't like topography, but, you know, you made me grow in that area. <laughs> what? I don't like topography. I don't. I, I, believe, I believe that the art can say what it says, but I didn't come in here to do what I like. It came in here to try to learn you know, with the instructor, with the instructor um, wanted me, where he wanted me to go, and I think he did a good job with that. So, um, uh, thank you all very much. Nice work. Robert. Thank you. Very nice. Who next? There we go. What's the next project on the internet? Well, this is sort of a accumulation. Sort of an accumulation of everything. It looked 